Yep, this is KSK Book Review. I would knock this one out while I am uh, just about to get off. I thought I would knock out this book review. This is a Cheryl Stray's book, a Stray book. Um, Tiny Beautiful Things, Advice on Love and Life from Dear Sugar. Now, um, this is something that I ordinarily wouldn't have wouldn't have chosen myself, but you know, I was in a book club and um, over in Baldwin Hill, and um, I was uh, they voted on this, so I, of course I participated and um, I actually started it. But um, the book I wanted was outvoted on, of course, and we went and we ended, and they ended up uh, picking this book. Which was good because this is something that I never would have chosen on my own, but I'm glad that I was outvoted. Normally that happens to me. Um, it happens to me. But um, Cheryl Strayed, I keep wanting to say Strays, but Cheryl Strayed is a uh, advice columnist, Dear Sugar advice columnist, uh, web guru. She has the web, uh, she's on the web in the uh, Rumpus Room, um, and she's an advice coach. But in her book, she goes over different advice where someone would, of course, write her a letter she, and then she would write them a response as far as what they should do as far as advice on love, life, um, um, family, financial. She gave some really great advice and she's very knowledgeable, very uh, wise for her age, which is, uh, which is interesting. Um, a lot of advice that she gave in here from the from her perspective as a mother, a wife, and a, a, a daughter, and um, a sister. So she used her life example to help her answer questions for people, but she did a lot of living. You know, she went over the different stuff that her and her husband went through, as far as her um, finding out, you know, that her husband, you know, cheated on her and she actually felt like that was the best thing that could have happened to them in the sense of that she grew from it, he grew from it, and it drew them closer together. She also uh, went over uh, different advice as far as with someone who was, um, who ended up, um, she used an example, not to give the book away, but she used an example of someone who ended up uh, killing themselves um, that was in her life, but to help someone else. And that story was deep. Um, she went over to when she was in uh, England, when she was over in London and a, a lot of traveling that she did. You know, I got my son here for some reason. He feel like that he can't put his uh, phone down for a minute while I do this, you know, but he'll be all right. He'll be all right for, for, for you know, 10 minutes here without his phone. But anyway, um, great book. I recommend this for anybody. It's different passages that she gives. Uh, in the book, and, it's, and I really can't give it away because there's so many different advice, advice that she gives to different people for uh, the different letters that she, that uh, she was, uh, that was sent to her. Um, ooh, I'm tired. Like I said, I'm trying to do a few things. I'm in about three different clubs. I got the other stuff I'm trying to review: work, family life, all of that. So, <laughs> regular, regular people stuff. But. Um, just one of those uh, days where I just, I'm far behind on my actual reviews. But it's just a lot of different advice that she gave. Um, um, I want to give some examples here, but I don't want to miss, I want to say exactly what her advice was. But um, one of them was just when a lady, she was, for some reason, she had a problem with her student loan debt. She just felt like she was just drowning in student loan debt and couldn't function until she um, paid off the student loan debt. And um, and she just told her, like, look, you know, you're still able to travel. You're still able to buy things at the mall. You're still able to buy expensive stuff. You know, she used herself as an example. You know, that's what she's able to do. And she got a lot of debt, still paying student loan debt. And it doesn't stop her. It hasn't stopped her. And um, it's the best investment that she made you know how she you know felt about it um she's using her she's using her uh what she went to school for at least some of it and um she's over that you know it's not some it's not anything to stop you from doing what you need to do in life and just get over it and get past it and just you know um let's see here i really don't want to spoil it and it's too dark in this room for me to read this mm -hmm. stuff but um, 
<laughs> oh yeah. And she, <laughs> she was, it was one story that she was, uh, what was this one? Oh, what was this? Let's see, I'm gonna get you. Like I said, I'm doing this on the fly, so I ain't got no, she really went in. Oh, A Big Life. Yeah, so anyway, uh, what does this lady say? She said, Dear Sugar, my question is not about love or sex, but rather one of identity and striving for the uh, best quality of life. Many other uh, Americans are, oh, okay, yeah. This her with the, uh, yeah, this is the student loan debt, yeah. Anyway, but her answer, this was the one with the student loan debt, yeah. That's what she's saying. But anyway, and she had went into that. She um, take like uh, what Cheryl Strayed had went into at the for her uh, advice because so because so the way the book is broken down is different chapters, and in each in each chapter it will be a it will be a bunch of different um, questions or letters that she was that she received, and then she will answer them. But in, and even in that even in in the chapters it will be broken down into the uh, the letter and then the answer anyway one of her answers uh, when she was talking about the student loan debt with this woman she spent a lot of time on this um, but she went into like her own life experience that you know um, she didn't have parents to uh, to help pay for her you know to help pay for her to get through college so she had to get obtain student loan debt it was the only way she was going to you know go to college so and while she was doing it, she worked while she was doing it. She learned a lot, a lot of life experience. And, um, and she said that she met a lot of people while she was going to school and learning, um, that she met in those different office buildings and stuff like that, people that could pay her student loan debt 10 times over. Um, and also other people that if she started to complain about her student loan debt, they would laugh or they would just fall out of the chair laughing like at least you got the opportunity to go to school and to get it in a position to get an education, even though you obtain that. But um, she says it way better than I'm saying, of course, and she breaks it down. But, um, and it's a lot of different things. And it's like some stuff in here that you can really use in real life that you can extract from this book and say, you know what, okay, yeah, I heard that a, a, a solution to that kind of problem. Let me, you know, what, what uh, you know what Cheryl said was pretty nice. Let me try this. You know you could you could pull some of her wisdom out of this. So I thought that was that was pretty cool in real life. You know today, but um, this is a great book to pick up. Again, all right. And um, yep, this is a KSK book review. Yep, like subscribe. I'm, I'm gonna keep these coming at y'all. Um, plan to start dropping a lot more um, as a. As the days and weeks go by, and especially, um, especially once the, you know things start speeding back up after after um, I don't want to say it on YouTube, but, you know after um, the pandemic. I'll say that. All right, thanks, y'all.